What is going on guys, it's Lloyd Irving here, and well, we're back in our sort of online holo fragment, RE holo fragment, and let's continue this. Hmm, someone's following him. a female obviously definitely a female oh yeah female it's Straya Konnichiwa Ima made ni atta koto wa nai yo na Hmm hajimemashite da yo watashi wa Straya yoroshiku ne Straya She's pretty tricky. You get to go in like that? Who wouldn't like that? Well, Kirito would. Sorry guys, if there's uh, dogs barking. Dogs are outside, barking outside. Sorry about that. Something that I've remembered just now is there is so much dialogue in this game. I'm just gonna have to skip a lot of it. It has a really nice story, but... Jeez, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> On my Vita version, I just skipped like probably half of it. I like the story and all, but dang. <laughs> he is pretty aggressive. How would an enemy scope him out if he's in town? gonna go throughout the dialogue of the game just to make this go a little bit faster I'm just gonna go fast through the dialogue it you guys you you guys can get the game and read it all you want but this is just to like show you guys the game not really the dialogue <laughs> I know not very many of you want to just like sit there reading dialogue, so yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Basically, she's in the cafe. All the girl, all his harem girls come in. They're like, who the hell is this new girl? 
And, um, yeah. And they're like, oh, I don't like this. And then, Stra or either Stray, I forgot who else. Someone explained it all, saying how she's just trying to say hey to Kirito, not like, uh, uh, on top of him. Now they understand that she's just weird, like, oh, very weird. <sighs> Blah 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 blah. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I oh my gosh, this camera turn is so freaking slow. I um, let's see. Okay, I need the assault team strength a little higher. Um. What's Coco want? Oh, yeah. Um, she's on the 76 floors of her way. Time zone, daytime. So basically, like, you can get these. This is just to help the assault team level up, but, uh, like, Coco, she's important. Uh, she's important, and I don't know why the developers, like, just decide, hey, Coco's gonna be more important. You can have her along with you, too. But... The little quest that I just got from her, that's just like a normal thing. You'll get that throughout going up and down the floors. Um. Yes. Oh crap, I, I was thinking X to talk to her. No, it's O. I just kind of want Asuna in my party. Let me see if I can change this. Um, um, I can't change it, I don't think. So let's get going. I was just gonna say I was gonna change the X to the O like in the original, but I guess I can't. I don't know why. Oh, Argo. Ah,七十五層の扉が開いてから攻略組。これは何か？キー。まあ、ああ。何？元々この世界だった。そう。これはマップデータだよな。So basically, if you talk to her, you get tutorials. And we can go over to Lizbeth's shop. And she'll be the one who makes some weapons, but honestly, in Hollow Fragment, you don't really make weapons. The best weapons are from the wild. And actually, I want to level up Sheen. Where's Argo? So Argo's right here. You can form a party with Argo, and. Here is basically the thing she tells you about. But you guys can read that if you want. I think I've already done that. I did in my last one at least. Yo! Why don't we just accept all these quests? 
in my first playthrough of it, I only did the required quests. That's it. Also, uh, let's see. I would get this skill. There, you can have a passive skill and go up to one hand sword skill, go to searching, go to expert eye, and you get plus 10% EXP in gen just like from enemies. And also L1, R1, and go to battle skills, and you can like go to easily do this to use skills while in battle. Just L and R1, bam. Triangle to use in battle. Da, ah, dang it. Can't go out there. That's floor 76. I guess I have to I can go over here. リズ。新装開店。リズレット武具店へようこそ。Sweet. <笑>滑り出しにしては there's like a quest line for her to give you a sword. It's similar to how Kirito got his Dark Repulsor. I'm not going to spoil the name of the sword. I, you guys probably already know. Unless you guys are new to the this Sword Art Online game series. But I'm not going to ruin it for you. It's pretty cool. And... It's good to do if you don't do the hollow area first, which I don't recommend doing first, at least until like floor 80s, mid 80s. I just don't like it how they kind of switched X and O, but they left O with so many things. I'm like, what the freaking heck? Oh, I don't want to be in this. Carminor. That's a different name than what it was. Basically, enhancing your weapon increases the stat you choose, but with each increase, it lowers the chance of it enhancing. Um, let me just show you guys an example. Let's do the Elucidator with the Carminor. So right now I have a 50% chance of getting the strength up or anything really. But if you look before enhancement, after enhancement, it'll go up by 20. The strength will go up by 20 the first time. So let's just do it. YOLO. JK's I don't do YOLO. You only die once, you live every day. Oh, got it successfully. And it became a plus one. So, let's go into enhancement again. And let's go on this. So, it'll go up by ten. But also, look at it. The number required to get it leveled up is four. And it only has a 40% success rate. But if you look at that hammer, bronze hammer that Lizbeth has under the enhancement type. And then Lizbeth, it'll say bronze hammer times 1.0. The highest in the game will be a 2.0, but you have to do her storyline. And 
yeah, it's a long storyline, but also another thing to mention is like you get to end strength, your DPS and value go up, and if you look on the very right, it'll say limit goes down from 9 to 8, that's how many times you can reforge it. Uh, and that's including if it succeeds or not. Like, if it doesn't succeed, it'll still go down. Like, let's try it again. Oh. That's pretty good. Now I am done here. Forging is just making a new weapon. It also requires, uh... Holy crap, three million coal? No way. But, I mean, coal is easy to get, but... It's... it's decent. I don't use it. coal do I have? Oh, wow, I don't even have three million coal. You start out with a bit of coal. Um, it's already like 16 minutes in. I'm not really gonna do a floor 76 video yet. I will in the next video, but I'll just show you guys like a little town. This is kind of where you get DLC armor, but you know, there's no DLC out right now. Um, Herm. The gladiator suit is probably the best one. White and red cloth. I think that is her Asuna's. That's why it only shows Asuna's picture up there. I think that's her Knights of the Blood Oath armor. There's the feather armor and blah blah blah. Traveler's boots aren't bad. Eh, I'll leave these for later. Alright, let's see what this one is. Oh, just some crappy weapons. If you need to try out different weapons, here they are. Like one-handed club, two-handed axe, a dagger, a rapier, a spear. Kirito can wield every single weapon. But your partners can only wield that certain weapon they have. Because, hence why you have all these skills. And that's because Kirito can use them all. Oh, six points. Target sight is pretty good. Eh, I'm just seeing what there is. Also, there's something, like, hidden back here. Oh, wow, I guess we can't access it yet. That'll be in a later video, guys. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't available right now. And from what I heard, uh, if you look, go to friends, you see that rank, affinity, and then rank around there. In the original Hollow Fragment, that was so difficult to get level up, but apparently in this, in the remake, they made it so easy. So, we're just gonna have to see how that is. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and, like, actual fighting will be coming up. I was just, you know, getting through the beginning game like anyone else would. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and everything else, 